Yo, it's me again. All right, so peep it, right? Ooh. All right, so peep it. Yesterday was game night. And uh, it was fun. People came out. People played games. Everybody had fun. And today, which would be the Tuesday. Uh, today's Tuesday right now. I don't know what day it is when you watch this. But today's Tuesday. And today, um, um, I'm performing at a library. And I'm doing beats and rhymes. I've come to the point in my in my life, I guess, in career life, where I'm like, it's time to really, 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 really do it. I mean, I've been really, 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 really doing it, but like the level has to come up even more, yo. The level has to come to to an even. Even more, I gotta power up even more. So I'm gonna be powering up today. I listened to some stuff from 2007, and I'm impressed. I'm impressed of what I did in 2007. I am very impressed. Um, some of the beats that I made, some of the collaborations I made. I have this one song. I don't even know who's on the track with me, or even if I made the beat. I think I made the beat. I can't find that file, but I have the the. M4A, like hearing what I was what I was doing then is still impressive to me. The growth is is real. The growth is real. However, something about listening to what I used to do and being inspired by that is is awesome. I like I fucking I love it, yo. I love it. It makes me feel happy about who I am and what I can do. And I think that's important. And I think it's important uh, to love yourself and love what you do and love how you do it. Um, but it's an interesting time to be myself. It is an interesting time. I have to pierce through all of the noise. It's, I just know what I want to do. That's it. And I'm doing it and I want to do more of it. And I feel like I'm not doing enough. And no matter who tells me I'm doing enough, y'all motherfuckers can't tell me if I'm doing enough or not. Because I don't feel fulfilled about it. I want more. I want more. You feel me? I want a lot more than what I have right now. A lot more fulfillment. So, here's to fulfilling yourself. Premium. Now, I don't let it. What's up? It's me again. I, didn't, I don't know what I was doing with my hair and stuff. It's kind of it's weird. But, um... I'm, uh... I'm performing at a... At a... At a library. And this is the library here. And DJ Ayo, Ayo, he from the Bronx. My boy, he uh, he's DJing it. And uh, you know, I think that's super cool that the homies is here and all that. But I don't need a DJ. He's not even gonna play any of my music. I got my SP 404, so it just makes it makes it all the while easier. Camera. Sound guy. Is he the sound guy? He is the sound guy. He's the sound guy. He's not the sound guy. Amplify Voices Mural Unveiling and Performance Series. This is a mural and performance program supported by the Communities Engagement Grant from the American Public, the American Library Association's Public Programs Office, the Friends and Foundation of Albany Public Library and a Stephen J. McKee Foundation grant administered by the Center for Law and Justice with the intention of addressing systemic racism and uplifting BIPOC artists while supporting libraries and partner organizations to more deeply connect with communities of color in their service areas. Dee Collin is a poet, actor, and visual artist living in Troy, New York. As a multidisciplinary artist, she aims to inspire, empower, and educate through poetry, paint, and performance and is passionate about cultivating space for stories, healing, and community. She is the author of two poetry collections, Dreaming in Creole and Said the Swing to the Hoop. Mike Larry Draw is a Grammy-nominated American, polymath record producer, entrepreneur, and community advocate. Mike Larry Draw builds an artist-to-fan relationship with all the people he meets and takes pride in the aesthetics and uniqueness of each show, meeting, or pop-up. His brand is the clash between aggressive sounds and elegant soul music. Living by the motto, do not cut corners, the brand has been operating professionally since 2011. His efforts to propagate conscious material helped solidify him on major platforms such as BET, WNYC, 
Bravo, and many more. As the founder and owner of community initiatives such as Kaizen Club and Anomaly Conglomerate, Mike Larry Draw proves that he is more than just a mouthpiece for change. He's pushing boundaries as far as he can take it in order to introduce unthought of creativity for futures to come. And now I will unveil the mural. Look, everybody's running to the mural. Running. The madness. You can't get it. Climb. Climb, Tor. Climb. Climb your heart. Climb your soul. Is he happy with it? Is he going to turn around and smile? There he goes. If you know about the Bronx, if it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap is probably never would be going on. So tell me where you from, from uptown, baby. baby. See, oh. see, that's how you see. <laughs> oh, <I agree. laughs> see, the Bronx is a very colorful place, and I don't mean just by melanation. I mean like the people there are very unique. And um, if you know the story of hip hop, it started in the Bronx. And all of a sudden, hip hop is born. You know, almost like the birth of a universe. Uh, this is called the SP404. It's created by Roland. And I am, li I'm, I'm proud to say this part. This is my favorite part right here. I'm the first person to ever make it a Bluetooth instrument. Uh, it's a beat machine. No one in the world has this Bluetooth phenomenon except me right now. So I should be in a Guinness Book of World Records. Uh, which I one day you're gonna look back and be like, that that kid, Mike Larry Jaw, man, he had this thing around his waist. I don't know what the heck it was. It looked like a beat guitar or something. Right? So, you know how I was doing the, the video game jump at this one spot? The, the payment just didn't seem ideal. I just feel like you should pay somebody what they worth. You know what I mean? I'm not looking to be egotistical about how much I get paid, but I work really, really hard for the things that I do. And, you know, I wouldn't want to just get paid 100 bucks. Might as well just get paid 50 bucks. And I ain't getting paid 50 bucks for no hard work. That's not happening at that place. I woke up thinking about it like, yo, maybe I could just, you know, work it and then we get it bigger. And then, nah, 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 nah. I've been working my whole fucking career, bruh. I've been doing this for a minute. So, I'm not going to just start over. I can't start life over. So, no, uh, no. I pay me what I'm worth. And I'm putting, my, I'm putting my foot down on that shit. You know what I mean? I thought about it. Because I'm passionate about that shit. I'm passionate about, like, video games and, and having people come out and have fun and play retro shit. And all that cool shit. I'm, I'm really passionate about that. But I'm also not going to get played. So I had to remind myself this morning. You know what I mean? And I think you should remind yourself, too. Know your worth. I, you've heard this millions of times from other people. Other public figures, other family members, other whatever. Know your worth, yo. Know your worth, yo. Know that you should be getting paid a specific... If a person can't pay you, don't, it's not their fault. You know what I mean? They shit might just not be where it's supposed to be. So, just go where it's at. You know what I mean? So you can get paid what you're supposed to. I might just be in a place where they can't pay me what I'm, my, what I'm worth. That's a bullshit lie, nigga. Because if some famous motherfucker came out here, they're going to get paid what they worth. And I don't care if it brings billions of people or one person. You should just pay a person what they worth. You know what I mean? So, today's lesson is live. I don't know what today's lesson is yet. The day just started. <laughs> All right, yeah. It's Will again. We're out here scouting for this music video, and we, we got this. Uh, yeah, we got this abandoned gas station that we would like to use uh, to 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 do this. A prime venue. Prime.
prime rib. I had some kid bring his Komodo over the other day too. Oh yeah? I just think this camera is so much better. It is. Uh, you put this nigga oh, right there! there. <laughs> you know, for the edit. No one knows this trash pile all they see is like, Oh, he's got, he got lenses? Oh, whoa, he got lenses. He's got mad lenses. Uh, modern aesthetic. And those are more stylized. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. It's a spotlight. Is it like the replica of a Joker? Yeah. Did I see this on your story yeah, recently? Probably, yeah. Lighting up the trees or something yeah, at night? Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. Oh. Don't show this part. <laughs> <laughs> Too late. What are you gonna use? It's my hangout spot. It's where we all hang out and talk cameras. Where's yeah, yeah. so it's like it's like the Flanders monitors. Hey guys, so today Right now what we're gonna do is we're gonna night test the drone for the new music video that we're working on. We're gonna do our best to raise some money so we can actually do it properly, but yep, let's do it.